Hey guys, welcome to a Tech Core Duo video. In this video, we're gonna take Pi-hole and we're gonna install it in Docker, all right? So the first thing we wanna do is we're gonna to go to the Pi-hole uh, website. So it's pi-hole.net. And so what Pi-hole is, is a network-wide ad blocker. All right, so I've created a video on this prior using a Raspberry Pi. Um, so you can install it on your Pi and do the same thing, but um, I have a Docker server, so I'm just gonna install it on that and essentially you just utilize my Docker server to run Pi-hole. So uh, right here you can do the, um, you can see on our first step here, install a supported operating system. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that Docker install. And right here is gonna give you all the information you need to install it via Docker. All right, so there's a, a whole bunch of, um, let's say uh, variables here that you guys can change. Um, as needed. There are some scripts in here as well, some sample scripts. Uh, you can do run the docker run sh. We're going to be using this uh, in a bit. So just go back here. We can kind of scroll down. We can see all the docker arguments here. This is for the, the compose if you wanted to run it. Uh, docker tags, it'll give you the latest version if you want to use another version. But uh, we're going to go ahead and let's head right back up to this link. And we're going to click on docker run.sh. So right here is our command that we're going to put into our Docker server. So right here, you can adjust any of these settings. So I have it pulled up in my uh, notepad right here. So um, I have Docker run and then the name, I'm leaving it as pi hole. The only thing that I have changed was the time zone. So I put in New York here. You guys can find the time zone just by um, searching, searching it. Sometimes it will have, let's say an underscore in there. Uh, but usually it'll, if it's just a single name, you can throw it in there. Uh, and then the DNS, we want it to point to itself. And we also want to use um, another one. So we can use, um, this is Cloudflare DNS, uh, which is fine for me. Uh, I don't mind using the Cloudflare, Cloudflare DNS. You guys can change this to Google or whichever one you want, Comcast, let's say. And then right down here, we're going to utilize this command to find our password. So let's go ahead and set this up. So I'm just gonna copy this command. I'm gonna copy that. I already have my Docker server open and available. So I'm gonna paste it right in here. So it's gonna drop it in, I'm gonna hit enter. And so it's gonna create the image. So I've already done this before. So it'll go through a download phase. It'll download the image and then install it. So it already created my image and we're ready to go. So all I have to do now is uh, type in docker start pihole. And now it's started. So if I go ahead and open up my browser here, let's, uh, oh, you know what? Let's find the IP address of my server first. So if I do uh, I have config, if you guys don't know the IP address of your server, which clearly I do, we can see it at the top of Putty's interface here, I typed it in there. But if you need to find it, you can type in ifconfig, uh, depending on the version of Linux that you're running. And let's see if I could find it here, where'd it go? And here it is. Local Ethernet uh, hardware address is dot .16. Perfect. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and minimize this. Let's type in 192.168.86.16. So uh, just a note, if you guys are running another, let's say web service on there that's using port 80, uh, you might have a hard time getting to that as well. Uh, you can't really have two of them running at the same time, but here we go. Oh, yep, I wanna go to the admin interface and there we go. So forward slash admin. So we got thrown in right here. It'll tell us the total queries, blocked, percent blocked, domains blocked. Let's go ahead and click login. So now we need the password. So let's head back to uh, the notepad right here that I have. I'm just gonna copy this bottom command here. And then I'm going to head back to my SSH interface here. I'm gonna hit enter. And it's giving me my password. So assigning random password, which is right here. So I'm gonna hit copy. I just right clicked on it, it copied. Also pasted it at the same time. I'm just gonna minimize. And we're gonna paste it in here. And we'll click login. Hey guys, so I had to stop the video briefly. For some reason, the password that it gave me, the one that it randomly generated, was not working. So I went ahead and I found the um, the command to reset the password. 
and I will link that in the description below, but it is also listed in their GitHub here as well. So the docker execute-it, the pyhole container name, and then the command to reset it, which is pyhole space dash a space dash p. So I'm gonna go ahead and just paste that in there. So this is what I have. I'm gonna go ahead and take this, copy it. We're gonna paste it in here, hit enter. It's gonna ask for a new password. So I'm just gonna do something simple, confirm it. There we go, new password set. Okay, great. So now if I go back to uh, the PyHole interface here, let's just refresh it and let's log in. Okay, so now it wants to log in. I'm gonna put in this password that I just created. Hit log in and there we go. So we're in. So um, as you can see here, we can go through, we can see the uh, blacklist, whitelist, we can see um, kind of, we can update the uh, gravity right here, update this so it'll um, update the list of block domains. So here it goes, success, that just finished, which uh, looks like it might have grabbed, let's see, no changes, no changes. Yeah, it doesn't look like there was um, much to update. All right. And from here, of course, uh, it says total queries, two clients. Um, currently, I'm using my PC here that's um, that's using the um, PyHole at the moment. And to do that, what you can do is let's go down to our network settings here. I'm just going to open up our network settings, move it over. I'm going to go to um, Ethernet here. Let's click Change Adapter Settings. And from here, I can go ahead and right click on my Ethernet adapter, Properties, hit IP. Um, Internet Protocol version 4 and you can go ahead and edit this to a uh, point to your pie hole um, The alternate I have for Cloudflare and then you just hit OK OK, and then you're done. So now my computer is pointing at pie hole looking for DNS Which will block all the ads that we need if you want to take this a step further and block everything that's um, um, Let's say help block everything on your network. We can do that via the uh, router so I'm gonna to go to my router and I already went into the internet setup area. So you can see domain name server DNS address. Uh, we can go ahead and just edit these settings and put in our pinehole address. Um, I went ahead and put in Cloudflare for the second and Google for the third DNS. And then once you hit save on this, we'll hit uh, apply. I'm gonna go ahead and type in the password for my router here. Updating my settings. And that should be it. So what I'm gonna to have to do, of course, is go back here and I can just point my computer to my router since my router is pointing to the pie hole anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and just oh, put this as dot one. Close that out. This will update. And so as you can see, there's already things being blocked. We already have three clients that are connected. It might be uh, someone's phone or my wife's computer. Uh, percent block 6.7. So All right, guys, just to show you an example of how this works, um, I have Yahoo on the left-hand side here, and I have Pi Hall on the right. So as you can see, there are no ads that have popped up. But let's go ahead and go to a, another website. So let's say, um, let's try BuzzFeed. Uh, BuzzFeed. And let's see. So if we open up BuzzFeed. So ads that are only pertaining to BuzzFeed are showing up. Other ads are not. So as you can see here, queries are being blocked, queries blocked, percentage blocked, all that is going up. So let's try, uh, let's try AOL.com. So ad choices, as you can see, this is not loading and more queries being blocked. We can scroll down, we can see that it's pretty clean for the most part with uh, with regard to, I guess, AOLs. It's not gonna block everything, but it gets a good portion of it. You guys could find out the DNS names of some of the ads 
and uh, put them in the list. All right, guys, so that's about it. So that's what Pi-hole does. It is a network-wide ad blocker. It is blocking a lot of the images on websites and helping you out. Um, it'll block even advertisements on videos, sometimes on YouTube. It doesn't get everything, it's not perfect, but it is really good, it's better than most. Um, it'll even block advertisements on your phone, let's say um, within apps, um, just websites, um, all of that stuff. It's, it's a very neat tool. So I have it installed, I'm gonna use it um, going forward. And uh, if you guys have any questions, please leave it below and like and subscribe and enjoy your day.